The interior elevation marker gives you the ability to create four interior elevations that are bound by walls, automating the process of creating multiple interior elevations that are linked to a drawing marker. Overall, this automation with your BIM model allows for greater change management in your design. The Create Interior Elevation Viewport command will generate up to four interior elevations at the same time. The first step when creating interior elevations is to make sure that the active design layer is the layer the bounding walls are on. If your active layer does not contain walls, a warning message will appear. Once you have the desired layer active, go to the View menu and choose Create Interior Elevation Viewport. The cursor will show a preview of the interior elevation marker as you move around the drawing area. To place the marker, click once. This sets the insertion point of the marker. Now, click a second time to set the rotation. If you have an interior wall at an angle, you can align the interior elevation to the angle of that wall. For this example, we'll keep this one horizontal. The Create Interior Elevation Viewports dialog will appear. This dialog is similar to the Create Section Viewport dialog. The only major difference is that you have options for each of the interior elevation viewports that can be created. Each of the interior elevation views can be checked or unchecked, so only the needed drawings are created. The drawing numbers and titles can be set here as well. In addition, at the bottom there's Interior Elevation Settings button. Here you can adjust the settings for the elevation marker. We'll cover these settings in more detail later. For now, we're going to leave all of the settings set to the defaults and click OK. This generates the four selected interior elevation viewports on a sheet layer, as well as an interior elevation marker on the design layer at the same time. The viewports and marker are linked, so you can use the Navigate to Interior Elevation Marker button on the object info palette of a selected interior elevation viewport to navigate to the interior elevation marker on the design layer. Then, back again to the viewports on the sheet layer using the corresponding Navigate to Interior Elevation Viewports button of the marker. Let's take a look at these viewports. Similar to other section viewports, interior elevation viewports have options to adjust which layers and classes are visible, as well as other render options. One thing different about interior elevation viewports is that they're created with only one visible design layer. This is the active layer that the interior elevation was created on. This speeds up the initial generation of the viewports. After creation, the design layer visibility settings can be updated by clicking on the Layers button in the Object Info palette, or by using the Visibilities mode of the Organization dialog. You'll notice that the length, depth, and height extents of elevations extend to the surrounding walls automatically. You can adjust these settings in two ways. First, you can select all the viewports, or each one individually, and then under Advanced Properties in the Object Info palette, set their extents. Or, if we navigate back to the interior elevation marker again, we can edit the section lines for each interior elevation. With the interior elevation marker selected, in the Object Info palette, click on the Edit Section Lines button. In this edit view, the position, depth, and length of the section line can be adjusted for each elevation. When finished, just click the Exit Section Lines button in the upper right corner of the drawing area. Then, click the Navigate to Interior Elevation Viewports button and update the viewports to see the changes. Now, let's take a close look at the interior elevation marker. This marker is similar to the section elevation and detail callout markers. You can choose the interior elevation marker style from a list of default marker symbols or create your own custom marker symbols. These can be added to the default interior elevation markers library file. You can also set the size of the marker as well as choose a text style. By default, the marker and viewports coordinate and show the same drawing and sheet information. So, if you update a drawing number or the sheet number, the marker will update as well. Using the Text Config pop-up menu in the Object Info palette, you can choose whether to show the sheet number only, or also to show a detail number. When a detail configuration is selected, you can choose a detail number and text separator. Below the detail number and text separator fields is a horizontal text option. In cases where the marker is rotated, this option will display all text for the marker horizontally. One of the more unique features of the interior elevation marker is the ability to choose which interior elevations display. Using north, east, south, and west options, you can choose to show or not show a particular elevation. Because the marker and viewports are linked, if you uncheck the north elevation drawing, for example, 
a warning will appear asking if you're sure you want to delete the interior elevation viewport. If I click yes, not only does the marker no longer display the north elevation indicator, but if we navigate to the interior elevations, we'll see the north viewport is no longer shown. This function works two ways. If we now delete the east interior elevation and navigate back to the marker, the east elevation is unchecked and no longer shown. Any deleted or unchecked interior elevation viewports can be re-enabled if necessary by simply checking the views in the object info palette. In the event that you do not wish to maintain this link, the connection between the interior elevation viewports and the elevation marker can be broken in two ways. If the marker itself is deleted, the interior elevation viewports will remain, but will be converted to section viewports. Alternatively, if some of the viewports are moved to another sheet layer, the move viewports will be disconnected from the interior elevation marker and will become section viewports. However, if all the viewports are moved at the same time, the connection is maintained.